Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I've never done a full grand tour of my motorhome for my YouTube subscribers. So I'm finally going to do that today. I've got all my outside storage doors open, and we call that area the basement. So I'm going to go around and first show you what's in all of the storage doors. So the first storage door has some breakers here and a little bit of storage area there where I keep my tools. The next one has the propane tank. It's a pretty good size propane tank. And in this compartment where I keep various bottles of fluids. And that is a pass-through storage above propane tank about less than a foot high. And most of these storage doors have pass-through storage, which means you can put something as long as eight foot long. Like I've got this piece of <laughs> uh, wooden dowel here that is about eight foot long. And then another pass-through storage here. And then this is the wet bay. And this is where I fill in up my fresh water tank put a, just a regular water hose into there. This is an, a shower, an outside shower to rinse off things, usually what it's used for. And then this is the storage dump facility, and that's a water filter. Next is the cord bay, where the electrical cord is from when I plug in the shore power. This is the death tank, diesel exhaust fluid, and then the last one here has some breakers there and then these are the chassis batteries batteries that start the engine and various other functions that are wired to the chassis batteries rather than the what they call house batteries so that's it for this side and then of course I have my motor scooter on the trailer hitch here and I have done several videos about my motor scooter if you want to look them up and then coming around to the other side is my house batteries and I have two 300 amp hour lithium batteries which I really like and I've done a video about those as well this is another storage compartment and this is my solar controller right there and I have various storage there and then this compartment is where I keep my um, wheel covers and my barbecue grill an ice chest and this is the fresh water tank and then this is the water pump you can put a little bit of storage in there as well more storage here and the rest of these three compartments are all passed through storage various things and then this is where I keep my little scooter and I want to show you how this works with my little scooter I really like this thing you just pull it out like this And there you go. And then to put it back in, it's that easy. <laughs> the next to that is the fuel fill compartment, and there is one of these on both sides. So when I go into a fuel station, I don't need to figure out which side of the pump I need to be on. You can feel from either side. And one more thing I wanted to show you on the outside are the awnings. This awning over the door and this awning, the big one. I'm now going to put those out and show you what they look like when they're out. So the nice thing about my big awning is that you don't need to have anything onto the ground. The awning arms come out like that. 
and they have an automatic system to where if the winds get too high it will automatically pull itself in and this is the awning over the door so that's mainly so you can come out a little ways without getting wet when it's raining I guess is what that's for and then these are my steps to get in so now let's go inside and I'll show you the front the driver's seat area there's the transmission simple button pushes and here's my rear view camera that shows my motor scooter on the rack back there and it also serves as a radio CD player you can also play DVDs in here you can actually watch movies on this screen USB for a separate USB input for music and so you can see it has several functions in a different disc in addition to review camera and both this seat and the passenger seat spin around to become part of the furniture of the living space passenger seat has a footrest pops out but when the footrest is not out the person sitting here the right leg is kind of hanging down so it also has a step wheel cover that comes out so that the passenger can have both feet sitting comfortably and this is strong enough to actually walk on I have a tire pressure monitor system here and a CB radio which is really only used for when I'm on caravans and this is where I keep my CDs in these CD holders and has a storage cabinet here storage cabinet here these are all books I intend to read someday <laughs> usually when my internet is out and then these are some DVD holders as well by the way I have this book on Amazon called Life on Earth by Geraldine Dixon it's still there if you want to learn more about what I think about life on earth and here is my sofa which is a sofa bed that folds out into a queen size bed and above there is cabinets one two three four but here is where I sit 99% of the time because this is my workspace and dining table I keep various things hanging from here with binder clips there's my computer printer and over on this side is a 48 inch television <laughs> which is really big for this size of a space and above it is my satellite TV receiver and two DVD recorders and then over here is a CD player more storage underneath the TV and then here is my recliner and it has this little table workspace or for eating and it folds away like this out of the way so that's really nice and this recliner it can be moved anywhere around the floor that you want now we go into the kitchen and have cabinets up here it's where I keep my dishes and this is for all the food items convection microwave oven pretty large one this is how I keep my knives and then my small appliances I have a pizza oven which I really like and various small appliances and really nice faucet and sink and then here I have a counter extension 
So I've got a lot of counter space here. And then underneath here is a propane cooktop. And there's three burners. I've never used the back two burners. <laughs> I've never needed to use more than one burner at a time. Got several drawers and under cabinet space. I'm sure you're hearing my air conditioner, which I don't dare turn off on a hot day like this. This is my ceiling fan, which has a reversible motor that would uh, exhaust and also bring fresh air in. And I have a residential refrigerator, which means it runs on all electric. And it does consume a lot of battery power. So when I'm not plugged into outside power, it does run off of the batteries. It has an ice maker inside, which is really nice. And then here, behind this really tall cabinet, is my dishwasher, which I really like. And then above that is more cabinet space and across from there is my control panel that does all sorts of functions so now let's go into the bathroom and I have two large medicine cabinets which I keep everything in here except medicine that's a really nice storage space and there's three cabinets here as well and I really like my shower it's got a skylight above the shower and it has a tri-fold closing door now let's go into the bedroom and this entire back wall is all closet space in here I keep my long sleeve shirts and heavy coats and all my pants and shirts are behind those four sliding doors and I have a 42 inch television <laughs> which is too big of course and then below it I have four video components this is a DVD player and a VCR and I still do have some VCR tapes I play and this is a HDD DVD recorder it's a blu-ray player and then satellite receiver got a big window here and it's a nice uh, countertop space here above I've got six drawers to keep all my stuff in and then this is where I keep my dirty clothes until it's ready to go this is my air filter and dehumidifier and I really like this space here but when I pull my slides in this bed moves all the way up against this cabinet so I lose all that space with the slides in got a queen size bed and one thing I really like about this motorhome is that it has a window to the left and a window to the right so when I'm sleeping I need a little fresh airflow. That air going right across my face is really nice. This is how I store my belts hanging down from that. And a little end table space here. Two cabinets here where I put all kinds of things. Nice soft headboard. And over here I have a fan, CPAP machine, alarm clock, and the, all of that runs on 12 volt. I try and do as many things as I can running on 12 volt. This door slides across here. And this is my certified public accountant certificate that I'm retired from. And that's my distinguished Toastmaster certificate. I have a second air conditioner in the bedroom and all the lighting is LED lights. 
one thing I really like about this motorhome is that it has a lot of walking around space with the slides out you do not feel cramped at all in fact back in my younger days I did an apartments that weren't any bigger than this and by the way if you look back in the history of my videos I have done a couple videos showing what's on the roof and there are a lot of antennas and solar panels and air conditioners and all sorts of various things on the roof it's a 38 foot long motorhome it's an Itasca Soleil model 36G made by Winnebago so now you know how I live and I have lived in this motorhome exclusively every night for ever since September 2016 I'm going to put a link below to more information about this model on Winnebago's website so you can learn more about it if you like. Good day folks.